Let me teach you how to download and install Vibrant Silter Shaders for Minecraft 1.19.3 in this quick and simple tutorial. Let's get started. Okay guys, so the first step is to click the second link in the description of this video, which will bring you to our written guide on how to download and install Silter Shaders. Now, once you're here in the guide, feel free to look at the photos and, and to read through the guide. But the main thing in here is to click where it says download Silter Shaders here. That is going to redirect you to Silder Shaders official website. Now in here, and I was testing the website before, I don't know why sometimes you come in here and it redirects you to some random website, but, but don't worry because I'm going to guide you through this. Once you're in here, just scroll down until you find the shaders version that you want. As you can see, they have light, medium, high, high with motion blur, extreme, and extreme with volumetric lighting. Now in here, I'm going to download the medium one. So just go ahead and select the one that you want. If you want to download the light or the extreme, whatever, I'm going to download medium. So just click on download for that one. And as you can see, it's redirecting me to some random website. You don't want to click anything in here. And if by any reason a file starts downloading, do not let it download, just delete it, okay? What you want to do is go back to the website and then click download again. Okay, it's not redirecting me to the right website. So just go ahead and close this one and go back and click download one more time. And there we go, it should redirect you over here. Okay guys, very important that you follow this step correctly because I don't want you to download some random file. Now, I don't know why the Silders website is doing this. Hopefully the developers look into this issue in the future because obviously that is not good. It's not good that they're doing that. This shouldn't work like that. Now, I also see that they added basic shaders I don't really know what those are and I haven't tried them myself, but if you want to try them, feel free to do so. In this case, we're just going to download the normal vibrant silver shaders, the one that have always been working. But keep in mind, once you click on that download button, you should be presented with this website. If not, just close out of those pages and go back until you see this website. Now, once in here, you're going to click a skip and that is going to bring you to CurseForge. OK, CurseForge is a totally safe website and that's the website we want to be at. Once you're over here, go ahead and click on download file. The one that comes up is the only one that comes up and that is going to start the download in five seconds. Now, once the download starts, it should download automatically for most of you. But for me, it's asking me where I want to save the file. I'm just going to click save. But like I said, for most of you, it's just going to download straight to your downloads folder. I'm going to go ahead and drop this file into the desktop so you guys could follow along. Now, if you already have Optifine or Iris shaders or whatever shaders loader you use, go ahead and add the shaders and you're kind of done, right? You're set, like if you already have Optifine or something like that. But I'm assuming most of you don't have Optifine and you want to learn how to install Optifine in order to add shaders, right? Remember, in order to add shaders to Minecraft, we need some shader loader like Optifine or Iris. Now, like I said, if you already have Optifine or Iris, just add this to your shaders pack folder and you should be done. But most of you don't. So I'm going to teach you how to install Optifine. In order to install the newest version of Optifine, which is the one that we want, go ahead and click on the third link in the description, which will bring you to our written guide on how to download and install Optifine. Now, I do recommend that you read through the guide in case you have any questions. But if you just want to follow along, go ahead and click where it says download Optifine here. And that is going to redirect you to the Optifine website. In this tutorial, we're going to be installing 1.19.3. As you can see, there's not a download button for 1.19.3. That is because 1.19.3 is not fully out yet. But there is a chance that when you come here, it's already out and you could just click download. As for now, we're going to click on preview versions and we're going to download the newest one, which is totally compatible with shaders. I have already tried it myself. Go ahead and click on download. And I also have a in depth guide video on how to install Optifine. You could look that in my channel and see how to do it properly. Anyways, once you click on download in the Optifine website, you're going to be presented with this website and you're going to click a skip again. That is going to redirect you over here where you're going to click download and that is going to start the download for Optifine, the installer for Optifine actually, not Optifine. And once we have the file, it should be a little jar file in here. Like you saw, it asked me where I want to save the file, but for you, it's just probably going to download automatically just like the shaders probably did. So wait for this to be done downloading. Once this little blue circle goes away, we will know it's done. As we can see, it's actually done. And we could go ahead and put our jar file next to our shaders in order to install Optifine. Now, I don't know if many of you know this, but in order to install any jar file, and as you can see, this is a jar file, right? Kind of a mod for Minecraft. In order to install any mod for Minecraft above 1.16.5, you need to have the newest version of Java or at least Java 17. And I'm not talking about Minecraft Java. I'm talking about Java, the software, that lets you run Minecraft. How do you check your Java version, you might ask? Well, go ahead and click where it says here to search and type auto remove programs, and that is going to redirect you or actually open this up. Click on search this list and type 
have Java. As you can see, I have Java 17. That means that my Java is updated. But for many of you, you might have Java 7 or Java 8. That means that your Java is outdated and you need to update it. But don't worry because I'm going to leave guides on the description, as you can see right here. I'm going to leave these guides in the description, how to update your Java. It's a pretty simple process and it's going to let you run this file in case you have any issues trying to run it, which we're going to do so right now okay remember if this file is not opening if you click right click open with let me show you if you click open with and java doesn't show here or when you try to open it with java it gives you any issues you might need to update your java because it probably is outdated i'm going to leave guides in the description anyways also keep in mind that we're installing optifine 1.19.3 so you have to have run minecraft 1.19.3 vanilla at least once before installing this and then your minecraft launcher and your game should be completely closed once your minecraft launcher is completely closed go ahead and launch optifine find the installer once you double click on it this is going to open and you're just going to click install it should be a pretty quick and simple process there you go optifine is successfully installed and now you could click ok and you could even delete the installer for optifine now what you want to do is click on the minecraft launcher that is going to open obviously your minecraft launcher hopefully as you can see we open the minecraft launcher and optifine is down here automatically selected because we just installed it if optifine is not showing down there for you click on installations and make sure that modded is selected as you can see if modded is not selected you won't see Optifine and you kind of need to see Optifine there. If that doesn't do it for you, just click on new installation. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it Optifine 1.19.3 and then in the version, just look for the newest version of Optifine. As you can see, we have release 1.19.3 Optifine. Click on that and then you can select whatever icon you want in here just to so you can know that that is an Optifine instance. As you can see, we have it down here. But anyways, most of you will have Optifine as soon as you open the launcher. Go ahead and select the installations menu find Optifine, okay, and then click on this little folder that is going to open your Optifine instance on your computer. We're going to minimize the launcher and we're going to find our zip file. And then inside this folder, the big folder that we just opened, we're also going to look for something called shader packs. As you can see, I have my shader packs right here, my little folder, but chances are when you come here, you might not have that folder. And I went ahead and deleted mine so you guys could see. As you can see, we don't have the shader packs folder. So what you're going to do is just click right click, click new and type shader packs just like this we have a shader packs folder now we created it ourselves go ahead and open it as you can see it's empty like most of you will have it and then go ahead and drop silders vibrant shaders in there silders vibrant shader i can't even pronounce it go ahead and drop it in there it's a little zip file you don't have to unzip it and then you could close this folder go back to your launcher and launch optifine and now that optifine has opened i'm going to go ahead and maximize this window for you so you guys could see it go ahead and click on options and click on video settings and as you can see you should see a new option named shaders and it's right here go ahead and click on that and you should see your vibrant shaders in there but i'm not going to activate it just yet i'm going to go ahead and launch a world let me create a new world and i'm going to activate it in game so you guys could see it working in the game okay let's wait for this to open and as you can see we're now in the world brand new world i just created there's a lot of sheep back there okay well anyways we're here in the world and what i'm going to do to add the shaders is press escape click on options click video settings shaders and select vibrant shaders shaders right there go ahead and click on that that is going to reload the shaders give it a second for it to load and then click on done 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 back to the game and as you can see we have silders shaders right there guys this is one of my favorite shaders i mean i have featured this on videos i don't know how many times so you can see water looks amazing the sun looks amazing the sky looks amazing everything looks good the colors are a little bit more vibrant as the name indicates and yeah i really hope that you enjoyed these shaders guys if you enjoyed this video if you like this guide don't forget to leave a like and a comment also if you have any question leave them down in the comment and as always bye bye